when I play my music, everybody enjoy it. They get behind my truck, they dance, and I let them get in, take pictures. That's what it's about, man. It's about the kids. Hey, I'm Jay Jones, and my truck is the Infinity Tahoe. And the reason why they call me Joker is J-O-K-A, not E-R. It stands for Justified Over Known Adversities. I have doors that are made of infinity glass. I'm the first person to have ever done infinity mirror doors. Put my tins, sponsored by DS18, custom seats with custom pillows done, with my Joker face on here. I can hook this one up. It's the Joker, it was custom made. Turn his head, turn the base up, turn the base down. And everything is custom. Custom console made up, it lights up. It has the uh, Pac-Man clock with two EQs in it. You can see my little Joker running across the screen. I have a wall full 18s, sponsored by DS18. I have 62 total speakers in this truck. I have 418 inch troublemakers behind the seat in a flat wall. Then in the back stunt wall, I have 16 tweeters, I have 16 horns, and I have eight tens in the back. Then in the doors, I have two tens, eight tweeters, and one horn, each door. And then in the eight pillars, it's speakers. <laughs> it's tweeters in the eight pillars. Uh, everything's DS18. The highest DBs I got in this truck was maybe a 162.8. That was outlaw and sealed. The highest I got was like a 160.6. The ghost is, got the ghosted joker in, the, in here. Custom joker, license plate. Over here is more amps with the Harley Quinn. And what else I got? And of course, you see me on here with the little sticker. I got the little chrome pieces to say ha ha ha. I got this truck on my birthday probably four years ago. It was just a plain truck. It was like a dark blue. It ain't had nothing on it. It was just clean. Right here. I have 30 inch rims, star judge. And here I have the uh, wheel lights. I have uh, digital LED creation lights. Down here, I have a plate cut out that says Infinity Tahoe, it lights up. That's all I got. Oh, the hood. It's got a joker face on the hood. The engine is just a 5.3 V8. I put an air intake on it to make it faster. It ain't no race car or nothing, but hey, but you pull up beside it, I think I can get you. It took three and a half months to do the, the audio bill. It took the guy a year to do my paint. I've had a passion for cars mostly all my life because my dad did car shows when I was little, and that what really made me want to be in the car scene as I got older. I use this truck mainly to um, go and do the shows. This helps me deal with the death of my dad. My dad passed away three and a half years ago. When I go to the shows and I win, it does something to me. It, like, it messes me up. Like if I, when I leave, after I get my trophies, I ride in the truck by myself and play my music, you know, I shed a tear because I feel like my dad watched me. Every weekend, I do shows. It might be two to three shows every weekend. And I got 169 trophies now. The last show that I just went to last week, I ended up winning nine trophies. When I go to shows, and people hear me turn the truck on, shoot, they get to dancing.
They'll get, come over there with cameras, or they come over there with their phones. They, you know, they talk to me, they enjoy my truck. Like the kids, they love it. But when they sit in the inside, the first thing they do, they grab their ears. No, don't grab your ears. What you need to do is learn how to control your breathing, because the bass will pull your breath. And I tell them, hold on to your hat, because it's a bass hit. It blows your hair, and it, it makes towels float, it makes bags float, it'll knock their glasses off and they love it, like, they love it. I focus on audio because I, I like to please the crowd. So I like to get the crowd moving. I like to see the kids dancing around, even the old people, you know. When it gets dark, this truck really comes to life. It probably looked like a big disco ball. You might think it's actually Christmas. <laughs> I have roughly probably like 60,000 in this truck. Too much. <laughs> I think I would consider selling the truck if the right money come along, i will let it go. Even though I put a lot of hard work into it, I'll sell it and do something bigger. I would have to do something to top it. Hey, I don't know how much the right money is. It, what you had to do is come to me and say, look, I want to get this truck. Bring a bag and just dump the money on the, on the hood and then we can go from there. Bring me the money, then we can talk. <laughs>